Welcome to Bikes, Boats, and Bivouacs. Today, we're looking at a 1974 Shasta Class A motorhome. Okay, so we're stepping into these 19, this is 1974, right? 1974 Shasta Class A, and we have here Mr. George Cavari, <laughs> owner operator of this Shasta. <laughs> Now Shasta built these Class A's on a GM frame with a 454 V8 motor. And you can see height wise, I'm 5'11 and I have four or five inches of height here. So plenty of room to walk around. Now there is some question on this Norcold refrigerator. It works, but we're not sure if it's electric and LP or uh, just LP. So potentially a two-way refrigerator. And then as we uh, move back through the hallway, uh, we're going to stop here and take a look at the bathroom. You can see it's got a brand new toilet, a separate shower, and a sink uh, in an enclosed bathroom. So a dry bath uh, for this particular motorhome. As we look at the main sleeping area there is a couch on the left here and that board slides out to make a queen bed on that side uh, so this will just slide out and then on the other side uh, is a single bed so you actually can sleep three people back here so you got windows all the way around and an escape hatch to get out in case of a fire or something now the structure is an all aluminum frame with steel roll bars so uh, you know, you're not going to see a lot of rot in the actual frame of this unit. And the cabinets look like they're in good shape, uh, they're nice and deep. So there is storage throughout the unit. We do have a closet here that is cedar lined. So very nice for keeping your clothes there when you're traveling. And the furnace, the LP furnace down below is functional. The rooftop air conditioner works. It's a thematic rooftop unit. And so does the stove. It's an LP gas stove and uh, it's fully operational along with the water system. So the water system I believe has a 40 or 50 gallon tank and then a gray and black tank. On the front of the coach there's this dinette that will fold down into a bed to sleep to but also the front seat will the back will flip so that you have two seats on the side for passengers facing forward along with the driver. I notice there's no engine hump in this unit the entire floor where the motor is, is raised, and then you step down into the rest of the coach. So a uh, really interesting idea to eliminate the engine hump. And then that provides more storage down below underneath. Now when we take a look at the outside, remember the entire outside is aluminum, so you're not gonna have problems with rust uh, in this uh, unit. He does have part of it polished aluminum and the rest of it painted. The awning is in great shape. Uh, there is storage underneath because of that raised floor. And here you can see uh, you can store quite a bit underneath there. Uh, this unit does have the old wings from the Shasta, you can see. Uh, and it's in really good shape for a 1974. Uh, it doesn't leak. Apparently there was one leak at one time, but it looks like it's been repaired. You can see where the old Shasta sign was in the back. And this is that escape hatch that we saw in the back sleeping area. So not only can you get out if there would be a fire in the front, it also allows you to put longer things like poles for a storage unit or something you can throw in there. Uh, it does have a fresh water fill for the tank. Um, it has a 30 amp electric service. And uh, up here you can see the uh, hot water heater. Uh, exhaust and van etc. Tires are in good shape, has all the hubcaps, there are no leaks in the roof. The windows, the, the bent windows there in the front are beautiful on this thing. I don't know what they would cost to replace if you took a stone chip, but the, the unit really looks good. This is a great looking uh, rare Class A Shasta. And then here is the promotional materials that were provided when the unit was bought new. He found this online, so he bought it. It talks about all the features, especially the aluminum frame and the roll cage, and uh, gives a picture of what they look like on the front. 
Hey, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It's free, helps me out a lot. Also ring that notification bell and you'll know every time I put up a new video. And give that video a thumbs up. That also helps. But more important than all that, go have some fun out there. Thanks for watching.